Alexander Fleming, a professor of bacteriology in London, can hardly be dubbed a big name in the world of science. He is credited with some nothing out of the ordinary achievements in the research of bound infection, but is best known for being one of the first few scientists to ever cooperate with artificial intelligence. He would not be in the spotlight of today's program had it been not for a single note left in his diary. Afternoon on September 28th. Alex, I... what are you so excited about? What was the point of marrying me if you keep talking to yourself all the time? Sarah, darling, listen to me. It is my dream that kind of get me in the right frame of mind. Imagine that we have battled down all the bacteria contaminating our life. Imagine that all the disease of our world goes away in a flash. Fancy me being blessed with such a serendipity to discover that miracle drug in one of my dirty petri dishes. Oh Lord, stop talking nonsense or also have your professor seat taken away from you. Certainly, the part of your speech, the, the, the dirty petri dishes, is the most reasonable thing I've heard so far. Thanks God you have AI in your laboratory to keep your working space and mind a little tidier. Oh, you know, this scrap of metal is just a dub machine. Don't you remember that the other week we were literally bending over backwards in a rush to catch your last train to Suffolk? That's because the AI had literally forced me to clean my dirty petri dishes as if it had had any right to give me orders. A single note of scientist's dream of miracle drug has made us dig deeper into his biography. Let's unveil what happened in Fleming's laboratory before he went on a vacation with his family. <sighs> what an intense day. Finally, it's time I pull my feet up. See you later, Amalia. Professor Fleming, before you could unwind with your family, it's high time you cleaned your laboratory glassware, those petri dishes with Staphylococcus aureus especially. What would happen, suggesting there was no AI in the room? What if those dirty dishes were the key for his miracle drug to come true? Well, AI is a huge mine of human knowledge and a great go-to source to keep abreast with today's world. It can never hold a candle on the human genius. Today, as a matter of fact, that Alexander Fleming did discover his miracle drug, penicillin, almost by chance. Luck is not really a scientific term, but luck in science does exist. We call it a fortunate discovery or serendipity. A range of scientific breakthroughs have serendipitous roots, like microwave oven and the discovery of radioactivity. Serendipity is a million in one shot. It can never be artificial. So we are blessed that AI didn't stand in the way of Alexander Fleming's discovery. <laughs>